Get out of here. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. I'm doing a different <laughs> recipe today. Um, I've done lentil tacos before, but another one with lent and walnuts in it. It's got a, it's, it's quite a unique recipe. I'm going to put this back on sear. I had this on before, and I wanted to turn it off. I didn't want to get get it going too fast. Um, so I'm going to tell you what I'm putting in here as I'm putting in. Let me go ahead and share this out real quick while I'm, I see Erlene and my daughter's in here. Um, thank you all for coming in and uh, sharing out. <coughs> Let me go ahead and share this out. Uh, oh, I can't share that right now. I can't say it. Won't let me, won't, let me, oh, there we go. Now, now I can share it. I couldn't share it before. <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever had those days where you can't share out? It just doesn't want to work for you. And I've turned the chat off because I figured until this thing pipe settles down with all the problems I've had, when I'm doing my cooking scopes, I'm not going to be doing any of the, the ch chatting. I do on Fridays when I just have a chat, but on, on cooking scopes, I'm just leaving it off. Okay. What I'm going to put in here now is one, it's supposed to be a white onion, and I don't have a white onion, so I'm just using yellow. So using yellow onion and one um, thing of garlic, one garlic clove. And we'll do that for about four minutes or so. Okay, three to four minutes, I believe. Let me roll my instructions. i got two pages here. I'm going to set it for about four minutes here. There we go. I see my daughter's in here. Erlene's in here. Welcome to everybody coming in. I can't really lower this down so you can see what's in the pot. Uh, you'll just have to wait until it's done to see what it looks like. You can just see that I'm doing some onions. You can just see that. It'll get too hot and I won't be able to lift it up. Hi, Vanita. Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for sharing this out. Thank you to everybody for coming in. There's my daughter. She came back. I'm just going to stir this for a little bit. I've got all my spices and everything ready to go. All my um, broth. I don't have it measured out, but I've got everything sitting here. So I'll measure it out as I, as I need it. Better look at my broth and see how much of that I need. Uh, Oh, yeah, too. I've got to get my, oh, I've got it right here. In fact, I could measure the broth out while I'm waiting on that. It's two and a quarter cups, but if I got just two cups, I think that would be sufficient. Oh, there might be a little bit more in here. There's a little bit left, so whatever's left in here, I'll just use it and make it, make it enough. So there's two cups of sugar, there's right exactly two cups. You know how I like the Instapot. We had it. Hi, Alexis. I'm just getting started. I've got my onions and my and my garlic in here, and I'm sautéing them. Oh, my light. It's acting up. Sorry about that. My fluorescent light's about ready to go out, I think. Um, welcome, Alexis. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for inviting your followers and sharing it out. I do appreciate it. And I'm sorry I wasn't in your Periscope yesterday, but it was Sabbath, and I couldn't be in there, so... Um, I have yet to watch it. I've got other things to watch, so I'll have to go ahead and watch that one from yesterday. Um, so I'm just going to let this go for three, four minutes, and then I'm going to put my spices in here. And it takes um, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder. Well, it calls for red pepper flakes, but I'm going to leave those off. Oregano and paprika, ground cumin. It calls for kosher salt, but I don't know if kosher salt, if you really have to use kosher salt. I like to use sea salt. I don't think it's really going to matter, so I'll just use sea salt. I do have kosher salt, however, but I'm not sure I should even use it. Um, I didn't look. I haven't been on Facebook all day today, Alexis, so I don't know. Who was, who was the mystery host? Um, I know it wasn't me because I didn't buy for the mystery show. I know I did, and it wasn't me, because I bought for Cheryl's party, but I didn't buy for that. So no one me. Oh, Hannah, the, oh my, Hannah, wonderful. Yeah, I know who Hannah is. 
That's good for her. Or, or she's going to have fun. <laughs> if I hadn't bought for Cheryl's party, I probably would have. But I couldn't buy for Cheryl's party on a mystery show, mystery show at the same time. I just couldn't do it. I just don't have that kind of money sitting or floating around, you know. So, <laughs> Hi. Good to see you, Nikki. Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you for coming in and thank you for sharing this out. I'm just trying to saute my onion and my garlic right now. And I have to see what I have to do. And then I have to add the spices and stir together. And I'll do that. And I've got all my measurements out here. I just have to I'm gonna get, my, get my lids off of here so I can save, save time that way. Otherwise, I'll be doing this at the last minute. I need to get this all out. It's all done. So, okay. Take this lid off. Take these lids off. No, that's what'll fall on the floor. I care. I tell you that they won't fall on the floor. I'll I'll make sure they don't. Okay, let's push them back. Okay. Now turn this off. Now I'm gonna go add my spices. Okay. Chill. One tablespoon of chili powder. All right. Got my chili powder right here. Um. And I didn't. I didn't get the tomatoes they called for because I didn't. I already had a can of regular diced tomatoes. They call for fire roasted. I'm just using diced tomatoes, and I don't really think it matters. Um, you have got to make do with what you have, you know, and I didn't want to go out and buy something that I, I didn't think it was necessary to use. Okay, and uh, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. Half a teaspoon. Okay, is this my garlic powder? Yep. All right. Okay, and then quarter teaspoon of onion powder, all right. Okay, and I don't, I'm not putting the red pepper flakes in, I'm leaving them out. A uh, quarter teaspoon of oregano, because I, I don't like some real hot stuff, so I won't put that in there. And oregano looks like I gotta buy me some, it's almost gone. And uh, uh, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin. I don't know why they want so much cumin in here. That seems like an awful lot of cumin. I don't know if I would put that much or not. That's well, I don't know. They want. To, I think I'm just going to cut it. I'm just going to cut it back because that seems like an awful lot. So stir this in, and then I'm going to have to cancel this. Stir this around, and I'll cancel it. Alright. Gotta add my vegetable broth. Okay, and I'll see if I can get another quarter cup out of here. If I can't, it doesn't really matter. I got two cups, so it's close enough. Yeah, I sure did. Huh, what do you know? Well, isn't that cat kismet or what? Just enough. <laughs> that never happens. That never happens to me anyway. Let me throw this away. I've never had it where it came out just exactly right. Or just maybe just a little bit over. Okay, and then I'm going to... Tomatoes, walnuts, and lentils. Okay, and then my tomatoes. Like I said, I didn't have the fire roasted tomatoes, so I'm just going to add a regular can of diced tomatoes. It doesn't have any salt in it. So I'll put those in here. I don't really think it really matters. And then the walnuts and lentils. Let's stir together. Okay, I gotta get my walnuts. Um, I'll put the lentils in here because I need this for the walnuts. I'll put those in here and then I'll measure out three quarters of a cup for the walnuts. Hi, Tammy, good to see you. Welcome. You're coming in just a good time. I'm trying to get this done up here. Whoa, that's pretty close. That's all right. Okay. All right. Now, let's see what it says. Okay, and I'm gonna have to stir it. Okay. Okay. Manual pressure for 15 minutes. Okay. Well, we know with the quick cooker it's it's uh 
your um, custom. Let me take this off. Make sure that's in the key. Now I'm going to set this on custom. Time, 15 minutes. Go down. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now I got her all going. Let me go ahead and put these back because I keep these in the refrigerator. Okay. So, how's everybody's day been? Are you? I suppose you're real hot, Alexis. We were 34 degrees. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. We were 34 degrees when I got up this morning. Brr. In, in, in April, this late in April and 34 degrees, I thought, whoa, that's a little bit much, you know. But what can you do, you know? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, Alexis, that's, well, I, it's just because I've been using it a qu quite a bit, you know. Hi, John, good to see you. Oh, you went to Costco. Oh, cool. Oh, that's what I figured. You had a really warm, Alexis. 85 degrees. Well, we're not going to be that warm today. We're only going to be about 65 or so. Let me go ahead and I'm going to have to cancel this and put this. Because I didn't get all the, all the tomatoes out of this lid. I better get all, all this out of this can. I better get them all out of here. We're only going to get about 60, 60 or 65 today. So we're not very warm. So there. Thought I better, better not waste out of the can. And since it wasn't at the pressure, it was okay. I can go ahead and set it now. Now I can do it. There we go. Well, what the... My thing is showing it's up and it's not supposed to be. Okay, there, I pushed it all the way down. I was going to say, wait a minute, that thing isn't supposed to be up. <laughs> I don't know how it, it must have been. I turned the lid upside down and well, I forgot to push it down. So there we go. I was going to say that thing isn't up because I didn't, you can't go to pressure in five seconds. <laughs> so I used my new, one of my new, the new seals, the black seal. So we'll see how it's going to do. Make sure this is going to be okay. Let's see. Make sure I put this all the way down. There we go. That'll be fine now. <laughs> so everybody else having a warm day? I know Alexa said she's 85. Um, she's always hot. It seems like it's always hot at Alexis's house. <laughs> That's what I say. We're going to take a trip to Alexis's house. <laughs> she's so hot. <laughs> oh. Put these over here and I'll put them away in a while. Just sit them over there and I'll put them away when I get done with them. And I'll just put this back up here. There. Oh, she looks good to be 85. <laughs> well, I meant it's ter the temperature is 85 at her house, John. Yeah, I mean, if I was 85 and I looked that good, wow. <laughs> oh, it's cloudy there in Kentucky. Uh, <laughs> I bet you are, Alexis. Oh, my goodness. You know, I don't mind... I don't mind 85 if it's not, you know, high humidity. But when it gets high humidity, forget it. I just don't care for the high humidity at all. What are lentils? They are legumes. Let me show you. These are what lentils are. They're very, very small. They're real small. They're almost like a pea. Um, they're, they're legumes. Um, and they're very, very tiny, but they taste very good. I'm assuming that whoever asked that has never heard of lentils before. They are, they are, are used in so many things. Um, yeah, they are. <laughs> you would be saying she's having, having what she's. <laughs> oh, yes, he does. He certainly does. Oh, you've never heard of lentils? Oh, my. You're the first person I have ever, ever, uh, 
seen on here that said they have never heard of lentils. Lentils have been around for a long time. Um, my goodness. Oh, you're going, oh, you're using them to make sloppy joes? Yeah, they make real good sloppy joes. They really do. How am I making them? Um, I'm putting them in my Instapot. In this Instapot, or uh, as a quick cooker from Pampered Chef. Um, they're 15 minutes. Yeah, they are. They're very inexpensive. And I always buy them dry because you can do so much with them, you know. You know, in your recipes, I like, I like, uh, doing that because they're, they're really, they're really dry. And they're, they're inexpensive and they're good for you. Welcome back, Tammy. They're very, very good for you. Like I said, they're, leg they're a legume, I believe. Oh, you couldn't see couldn't see their comments, huh? Can you see them now, Erlene? Um, somebody put a comment up or something because she couldn't see them. I think sometimes Periscope's playing with us. Oh, lots. Yeah. Well, you know, I didn't know that, but you're probably right. Um. Um. Did you see those comments now, Erlene? Oh, Indian food. They use lentils in Indian food. Hmm. I didn't know that. Things I'm not Indian, I didn't know that. But that makes sense. That really does. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so uh, so um, how is your day going otherwise? I mean, what have you got planned for today? What are you going to have tonight for supper? Oh, you see everyone's except that one? Well, maybe you have that one on the block list, or, or, or lean or something. I don't know. By Or by accident or whatever. Huh, isn't that funny? Um I decided not to have the chat on today because I get so many crazy crackpots in here. I decided to turn the chat off, you know, and uh, just not worry about it for right now until things get a little bit better, until we get rid of the haters and the stalkers out of here. I won't put that on. So um, I do so much better. Um, oh, the one that said they didn't know what lentils were. Yeah, that amazes me that they didn't know what the lentils were. You know, that's okay, though. I'm glad to ask, answer any questions that I can. Um, lentils have been around a long time. Yeah, yeah, somebody did ask who the, that, um, they didn't know what lentils are. Um, so I had to show them. Because they're like, a, they're a legume, I guess you could call them a legume. Um, <coughs> and they're really good for you. Um, they're a lot like, uh, I would say, quinoa. When you cook it, it seems to expand and makes a lot more. So you can't, you can't, don't have to use very much. <laughs> okay, Arlene. Um, I, I, I understand. But there, there's a lot like quinoa. It expands. And um, anyway, how what you got planned for today, the rest of your day? Um, I know the Sunday Keepers went to church, I suppose. And, and uh, I've been watching... You know, I like to watch things on YouTube, and I was watching a couple documentaries on Prime Video. Can you? Oh, yeah, you can. You can have lots of things in tacos, anything you want. Not this particular one. I made a lentil one, but not one with walnuts and all this in it. No, I have not made this particular one. This is a new one. I wanted to make this one because I have not made this one before. <laughs> So I try to try to change things up. Even if I have made it before, it's okay. Because people like seeing some of the things over again. Especially if they miss it the first time, you know. So, um, but anyway, I've been watching documentaries. I was watching a, um, before I came in here, I was watching a documentary. Oh, I'm sure it is. I was watching a, well, I don't know if it was called a documentary, but it was, um, I think it will be. You made chia seeds into pudding. And it all, oh, yes, chia seeds are really good for you. Okay, I'll give you the recipe. Um, as you can hear, this is hissing, it's trying to come to pressure. It says one white onion diced, which I didn't have a white onion, so I used yellow. One tablespoon of olive oil. Um, one garlic clove minced. One tablespoon of chili powder. One half teaspoon of garlic powder. One quarter teaspoon of onion powder. It calls for a t quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, but I don't put red pepper flakes in anything because I don't. I think they're too spicy. A quarter teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of paprika, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, and it calls for a half a teaspoon. I forgot to put the salt in, but I can put it in afterwards. I guess that doesn't really matter. Um, a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, which I don't put that in either. Um, a vegetable broth, two and a quarter cups of vegetable broth. 
one fifteen ounce can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. Now I didn't have the fire roasted, so I just used the regular diced tomatoes, and they had no salt in them, so that's okay. Um, I can always add salt to this later. I, I would have forgot the salt. But anyway, talking about it, then I forgot it. Okay, now that just came to pressure. Um, a three-quarter cup chopped walnuts, which they were already chopped, so I just three-quarter of a cup. A cup of dried brown lentils. And you could put any seasoning on top that you want. You could put shredded lettuce, tomatoes, jalapenos, whatever you have. I do not have any shredded lettuce. So I'm going to put some shredded cheese on top, but I, I had cut me up some of some tomatoes and peppers the other day for a recipe I'd done here. So I thought I'll just put this on top. Um, uh, no, it won't be spicy. Um, well, <laughs> I more, these somewhat end up being my own because I end up tweaking them. I tweak them because I don't make them exactly the way they are supposed to be the first time. Well, sometimes I do, but if it adds, it asks for something that, like the red pepper flakes, I forgot to put those in there. I don't put pepper in. I forgot the salt, but it's only a quarter teaspoon, so hey, I can always add that. But no, if you mean as far as writing my own recipes, I wouldn't know where to begin. No, I've never done that. I'm not sure how good I would be at it. Um, it would take me a long time to think of what to do. Uh, oh, thank you. Um, I might be good at cooking, but that's totally different than writing your own recipe because writing your own recipe would take a lot of know-how to know exactly how much of each ingredient, what ingredients, you know, what you're going to make. Uh, Oh, want me to have my own restaurant? Well, <laughs> I don't think that'll ever happen. <coughs> not at my age. But that's a nice thought, and everybody keeps talking about a cookbook. Not sure about that either, but that's a good thought, good thought too. You never know. It could come to fruition. Not the restaurant, maybe, but, um, uh, you know, a cookbook, it might, however, they aren't my own recipes. I borrow from other people, but I've just kind of tweaked them a little bit. So, um if I ever try to make my own recipe, I don't know how it would ever come out. I would have to really think that one through. Because like I said, I would not know exactly. Um, yeah, that's true. Vegan restaurant. Um, although I do go I do go into Red Robin, and they don't have everything vegan, but they do have some things vegan. They have uh, burgers that are vegan, which are absolutely delicious. And I know that Erlene knows a little about, about Red Robin. It's really, really good. A lot of your places are beginning to um, kind of go into the plant-based era now. Um, and it's really amazing. Um, that's true. I do share them on Facebook. Yes, I do. But I ended up I end up tweaking them a lot, too. Um, I tweak them and add thing, different things that, that may not be in there or leave something out. At, um, what do I enjoy cooking the most? That's a good question. One I, I don't, really can't answer right now because I've made so many things. Um, something that doesn't take very long. We're using the quick cooker and cooking something I think I like the most because it, it's just a short period of time. And it's now it's at fifth, oh, now it's at 14. So it's got 14, 14 minutes to go. And then I, then I let it sit for four minutes and then take the, uh, uh, release the pressure. Um, <laughs> oh, you'd never go to Red Robin? Um, Okay, Alexis. All right. Take care. Um, oh, somebody said they would never go to Red Robin. What was your reason for not going to Red Robin? I wanted to see. Oh, well, that's true. But I don't eat them anyway. I don't eat. I don't eat the cows. I don't eat the. I don't eat the meat anyway. I eat the vegetable stuff, vegan stuff. So I understand what you how you feel. I mean, that's your preference. Um, but uh, there, are, there are places that won't, won't do that, you know. And, and I've seen YouTube videos where people will walk into a, into a restaurant and they'll hold up signs and they'll be protesting and they'll say that it's not, you're not, um, it's, it's, I don't remember the words they use, but they're against people killing animals and they tell people you shouldn't be eating these animals, you know, um, Well, no, <clears throat> that's probably true, but God isn't going to condemn them for that because they've got to they've got to make a living somehow. Not and they're not a vegan restaurant. You have to understand that there are vegan restaurants out there that are solely for plant based. So, 
But there are vegan stuff in, in Red Robin. I'm not going to stay away from Red Robin. Now, if they didn't have anything vegan in it, I wouldn't go in there. But I don't worry about the the hamburgers and all that, the stuff they fix. I just eat the, the stuff that's vegan. I don't worry about everything else. Um, well, that's true. If that, if that's the way you feel, that's that's fine. I mean, to each his own, you know. That's true. It's very much preference. Exactly. Exactly. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. That's exactly. Yeah, you have a right to your opinion. And, you know, everybody else has a right to theirs. I happen to like Red Robin, although I don't go in there very often except for <clears throat> on special occasions like birthdays. Don't know what we'll do on Mother's Day. It's coming up next month. We went to Red Robin for my birthday because I chose that. Um, so, you know, it's close to it's not too far from where I live. So we went to Red Robin. But, you know, it's, like I said, it's it's everybody's preference. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, I do enjoy looking up recipes. Um, this recipe came off of Pinterest, which most of my recipes do. Um, if I can't find something in vegan recipes, then I'll go on to Instant Pot Vegan Recipes. is where I found this, on the Instant Pot Vegan, because they have a lot of Instant Pot recipes. And I like using this enough that... I want to to use it and share well how you can make things with it. And like Alexa says, I'm a pro using it. Well, it's just because I've been using it a little while and I know how to use it. Um, it may be a little scary to everybody at first if you first get it. Um, not really. Not th well, no. Um, the regular tacos, they use meat. Uh, mine is vegan. Hi, Missy. Good to see you. Welcome. Mine is vegan because I'm not using meat. I'm using lentils instead. But most of your tacos have meat, probably cheese in it, lettuce, tomatoes, whatever you want to put on it. And uh, since this is vegan, I'm using lentils. I'm using lentils and diced tomatoes. I'm using all the seasonings, the garlic powder, the onion powder, the cumin, and, you know, what a chili powder and that it called for, you know. Um, the only thing I forgot was the salt and pepper. Well, I don't use pepper anyway, but I can always put the salt on later. It doesn't really matter. It wasn't that much. This is on 11 right now. But I like making recipes for other, or doing recipes for other people. Like I said, somebody asked if I've ever made my own recipe. I wouldn't know where to start. Um, I might want to try it sometime, but it's going to take a lot of thought as to exactly what to put in the recipe and what recipe to make. Because... You have to have the know-how to make something. And I'm not that versed in, in cooking. To, I, mean, I mean, I know how to cook, but to make something I've never made before would be something that I wouldn't want to try. So I'm very careful. I would rather just use a recipe I've already seen and maybe tweak it a little bit to my liking because a lot of things that, that out there, the res recipes just are not the... Um, kosher for me. They're not the um, the way I would like them. Now, I'm not going to eat them with, uh, you know, spicy stuff in it like your um, apple cider vinegar, your red pepper flakes, or pepper for that matter. So I just uh, do my own. Basically, it becomes my own recipe because I'm tweaking it and I'm changing it up a bit. And uh, this is what the this is what the picture looks like. It looks really good. I mean, uh, I'm just going to put them on some tortillas and Flour, I think the flour tortillas I have, yeah, flour tortillas I have, and just make a couple of them. They're really, it's it's really a long ingredient list. If you want to, if you want to, um, a screenshot it, you can. But I'm going to put it up on my Facebook page nonetheless. Um, so tell me if you want to screenshot it, and I can hold it back up. This is a very good recipe. I put everything down and let you know exactly how it's made. Um, very simple. It's got a lot more ingredients than some things I make, but I know it's going to be good. Um, anything with lentils, quinoa is really good. Um, if you've never used lentils before, I suggest you try them. You can make lentil soup. Um, I saw one for uh, on Pinterest for lentils and mashed potatoes, which really looked really good. But I I found something. It was something in the recipe that I didn't that I wasn't sure about, so I decided not to do that one. When I saw this one, I thought, yeah, I could do this one because I like tacos. And to put walnuts in it, I've never put walnuts in it. And that's what's inside the quick hooker, too, is walnuts is in there. So that's going to give it a whole new flavor. You know, when you use walnuts, probably could use pecans, too. People don't have walnuts. They could use pecans. You could use almonds, maybe. You know, make it your own. Tweak it up. Your, your, um, 
Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They say that this, <clears throat> that this thickens as it cools. So that's a good thing. So it's not real runny. You don't want anything because I don't like my tacos runny because you put them in the, bur in the burrito or whatever and you go to eat it and it's running all over the place and it's falling out of your, out of your burrito. I don't like that. But since this thickens as it cools, I suppose that's the walnuts give it good texture. It's going to give a good flavor. Um, I agree. I agree. That's why I come in. That's why I don't eat animals anymore. But I am not going to tell people that they can't eat animals. It's totally up to them. That's not my point in doing this. I'm not in here to argue with anybody. I'm not in here to push anybody into being a vegan because that's not my the way I do things. That's not my lifestyle. It's for me. If somebody else doesn't want to be vegan, I am not going to make them be vegan whatsoever. They can do whatever they want to do. I'm here to show you what I do as a vegan, how I eat, and people can uh, plan their meals accordingly. Um, no, we don't. We do not. But it's um, but unfortunately, it happens. It happens. Um, yeah. Well, that's whole. That's the whole idea. When I come in here, I want to show you how I make a recipe using. Um, you know, plant-based foods using a pampered chef uh, things. Um, and, oh, thank you. But I am not going to push my uh, vegan lifestyle on other people because that just isn't kosher. It isn't nice to do that. I mean, if somebody wants to become vegan on their own, that's marvelous. But I'm not going to push it on them. My daughter is not vegan, but she comes in and watches my periscopes. Other ones come in and Missy's not vegan. There are lots that come in here not vegan, but they like my periscopes nonetheless. And I appreciate that. Alexis isn't either. Um, you know something? I don't deserve what you've given me, but you know something? God bless you anyway. I love you. God loves you. And I hope you're safe someday. Before I block you, that's what I want to tell to you. I still love you anyway. You can call me a slumlord all you want. That doesn't make it so. Does not make it so whatsoever. Does not make it so. You don't even know what a slum slumlord is. You better, you better, you better get your facts right before you know what a slumlord even is. You better get your facts right because you're calling me something that's totally wrong, and I am going to get rid of you for that. Goodbye. There, I think I blocked him. I hope I did. There, yeah, he's blocked. He's blocked. You know that's the only way I can handle it. I, that's why I'm not doing this chat thing. I've got to, I've got to uh, calm these people down. Um, oh, thank you, thank you. And I appreciate people my, uh, people muting those for me. I just go in there, you mute them, and I go ahead and block them afterwards. He was in there long enough to hear what I had to say. If he wants to come back in with a new account, let him go right and come. But he didn't even, he doesn't even know what a slumlord is. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> you know, oh, well, God bless him anyway. <laughs> That's all I can do is say, God bless him. I love you, and God loves you, and hope you're safe someday. It probably shocks them when I say that because I'm not getting mad at him. I'm not getting mad at him. I don't deserve it, but I'm not getting mad at him. He wants me to get mad. That's just what he wants. That's the old devil for you. He wants me to get mad and, and point my fist at him and all that stuff. But I have to do what I have to do. But that's why I'm not putting the chat on because I want to get this under control. Those people keep coming in and making more more accounts and... and uh, <laughs> Uh, I didn't even see what it was. I'll have to I'll have to check it, sweetie, and I'll have to go ahead and 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 probably. Hi, Tammy. Good to see you. I'll have to block it when I watch the replay. Oh, uh, well, you know something. It doesn't pay to get mad at these people. You know why? Because they're sorry souls. They're miserable, and I don't I don't I feel sorry for them, and I'm not going to get mad at them. That's what they want me to do. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Um. Yes, thank you, thank you. Oh, something to call, oh, well, I'll go back and I'll watch it. If it's the same person, if it was at Brandon, whatever, if it was, he's been blocked now, but I'll go back and watch it, watch the, um, oh, good. Um, yeah, well, those that came in my Periscope on Friday, somebody came in, and I don't know if it was him or what, somebody come in and says, uh, was it moderated by Paris? Okay, good, um. That's good. Well, I blocked that one. Well, somebody came in my Periscope on Friday and said that anybody sixty over 60 years old shouldn't be on Periscope. What? Does Periscope have any rules about who, how old you could be to be on here? I'm thinking, what? I says, well, I, I could be on here if I want to be. I mean, if they don't like me, they don't have to come in here. 
<laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for that. You know, I, it's it's terrible to have people, but you know, it's like I said, they're, they're a little miserable. They want everybody to be miserable too, but I choose not to be miserable. I'm happy. You know, I'm alive and I'm happy. You know, and I'm coming in here and I'm doing a recipe for you. And that makes me happy. And it makes me happy that you're coming in and you're you're seeing what I'm making. And you're learning from me as well as I learn from you. And, you know, and I am so happy about that. You know, and I'm thankful that, that you, I have moderators in here that are taking care of it. Because like I said, I don't always see things that pop up. I probably was busy with my quick cooker when they came in. So I didn't see it. So you take care of the ones that I don't see. And then I, the ones that I do see, I try to uh, block them if I possibly can. Uh, it probably is, yeah, making making more than one account. There's some out there that have several accounts. Calling me a slumlord, they don't know what they're talking about. They have no idea what a slumlord even is. Well, God bless them anyway. <laughs> wow, you know, if that person, it wouldn't surprise me, that person will come back in in a few minutes and say something else, say the same thing again. Well, you just keep... Just have to, um, it's probably, <clears throat> probably the best thing you can do is when the guy comes in like that, get him for abuse. Don't, uh, if you want to get him for abuse, you guys, the moderators can do the same thing. You can get him for abuse. Oh, you just blocked him. Yes, you can. You can block him on your end. You can also get him for abuse because that's something that Periscope does not tolerate. Somebody is coming in and being very mean and spiteful. Um. And that's, and, and, that's, and that's so very sad that he's being spe mean and spiteful, you know. But, you know, that's the way the world is. It is what it is, you know. Like my daughter said, she'd like to tell him to, you know, I don't use the word, but F off and leave me alone. But, you know, they'll leave me alone when they're good and ready to leave me alone. But, you know, I always tell Satan, get behind me, Satan, and, and don't don't come around again. You know, that's what he wants. He wants, that, he wants me to get mad at him, and I'm not going to do it. He, they're doing his bidding for him, so... But anyway, <clears throat> I'm glad I found this recipe because this recipe is a good one. And I, and I like tacos anyway. I haven't had tacos in a while. And when I saw this this morning, I thought, hey, I want to make this because I want to eat my tacos. Because I really, like, I really do like tacos. They are so freaking good, you know. Um, was it? Oh, that sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. Okay, I'm going to put this on four minutes to, um, I'm going to make, put it up here on my, on my, um, yeah. <clears throat> okay, and then I'll put four minutes, and then I'll, I put it up on my, on my microwave. It's a little bit easier. Um, it's already cooked. Um, right now, it's, I've got to let it release for four minutes, and then I quick release it. So it's already cooked, so you don't have to worry. It's already cooked. And, and after four minutes, then I'll take the lid off. Then you can see it. What are the ingredients? It calls for one white onion diced. I don't have, I didn't have white onion. I probably should get some because I'm finding a lot of recipes with white onion. But I use more. I don't know what the difference between white and yellow is. If the sweetness is different, I don't know. But I had a yellow onion, so I thought I'm just going to use it. I didn't think it matters that much anyway. Um, one tablespoon of olive oil, which goes in the bottom of the when I sauteed it. Um, and that's the reason it did take long to come to pressure because it was everything was already sautéed and it was already hot. Um, and one garlic clove minced, one tablespoon of chili powder, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, um, one quarter teaspoon of onion powder, um, and it calls for a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Um, yeah, I'll have to. Um, one quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, although I did not put that in here. Um, I don't like I don't like anything real hot, so I didn't put that in here. A quarter teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of paprika, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, which I think is a little too much cumin, so I aim to put a little bit less than a, a teaspoon. Um, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, which I forgot. I'll have to put the salt in later. A quarter teaspoon of fresh ground pepper, which I don't put in. Um, two and a quarter cups of vegetable broth. One 15-ounce can of fire-roasted diced tomatoes. I didn't have fire-roasted. I just had plain. I didn't think it mattered. I wanted to use it up, so I just used what I had. Three-quarters cup of chopped walnuts and a cup of dried lentils. And then the toppings, you can put on whatever you want. You can put on shredded lettuce. You can put cheese on, tomatoes, whatever you want to put on it. So that's basically all it is. And then you have a, your flour or corn tortillas, and that's all it is. Um... Huh. 
No, I don't like spicy. I can, I can do without spices. I don't care for spicy. I really don't like spicy. Um, I never have. Spicy just doesn't set down with me too well. Um, not in my stomach. I just don't care for things on my stomach like that. A lot of people love spicy stuff. But boy, you know, what does it do to their system? Whoa! You know, I've tried red pepper flakes before in something, and I thought, oh my goodness, it was hot. So I said, never again. I'm not going. I'm not going to use them again because they're just just too hot. Even if it's a quarter teaspoon, still seems a little too much, you know. So I'd rather not put it in there at all. Um, others can put it in if they want. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that would help or not. It's possible. Um, it could. It could help. Oh, it probably, yeah, well, you might be right. It might help cool the inside. Yeah, you're probably, I didn't think about that. Maybe almond milk would, milk would too, your rice milk or any of those would probably cool it down. Uh, no, I can't do spicy either. It's best not to do spicy. If you can't do spicy, don't even bother with it. So when I find the recipes that have the spices in it, I just leave them out because I just don't do it. Um, at my age, at 71 years of age, spicy is just not good. And I don't think I, I need to use spices anymore. It's just, I don't know. You, you know, you, your food tastes good without a lot of spices in it. You don't need spicy to make, to, to, a lot of people like to put the spices in there to spice their food up. I think, don't think you need that. I don't want to spice my food up. I think it's good enough with, as it is without spicy. Um. Oh, they, yeah, they are very gassy. Ex yep, you're right. Um, that's what that's what they do. They're very, they're, they're, you're right, you're right. Beans are very gassy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to, I'm going to cancel this. I think I did cancel it. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to release the steam. Um, well, that's possible. Yeah, I don't, I don't smoke. You're right. I'm vegan and I don't smoke. I don't think it would matter even if I did, I suppose. I just don't care for spicy stuff. I just, I don't know. I'm one of these kind I don't care. I, I never liked anything real spicy. Um, it upsets my stomach too much. So I would just rather not have spicy foods. If I can get by with it, and I, like I said, I see a recipe with spices in it, I just don't even do it. I say, well, I don't need those spices. I'm just going to forget it. So I don't do it. And, and I, you know, will leave the spicy stuff spiciness out because why have this food, food spicy you don't need spicy foods um that gives you a heartburn you know who wants heartburn not me i don't want heartburn but you can get heartburn real easy with all those spicy foods so i just decided just to leave it out so i don't have to worry about getting heartburn because i don't think that's very good i'm very good on your system to have heartburn you know um some people love it though they'll eat a, okay now it finally went down all right now let me put this back. I want to better unplug it. You can't put it back or unplug it. There we go. I'll put this up here so I don't get that full of food. All right, I'll put this back here and I'm going to take the lid off because I want to bring this out so you can see what it looks like. And let me get my wrap. And I'll add some little bit of salt to it since I forgot it. Um, put this all the way back. And then I'll take the lid off. Let me get my, my grips and I'll take it out and let you see it. Okay, let me get my spoon. Okay, there. Now, what do you think? Look at that. Wow, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Look, look, look. And they say as it cools, it thickens. So I'm going to let it cool a little bit. Um, I don't have to have it real, real hot to eat it anyway because I can't put it on my thing anyway. I'm going to let it cool a little bit so it can thick. Uh, um, but that looks really good, doesn't it? Look at that. Can you see it? I'll put it a little, move this over maybe a little bit. There we go. Now, there. Doesn't that look good? And just a cup of lentils, and look how they expand, how much they make. That's what I'm saying. Lentils and quinoa. 
will expand. It's like your pasta. You know, you use just maybe a cup or something. And it ends up being uh, more than maybe twice as much because it expands up. But this was done in 15 minutes. Doesn't that look real good? And what you see here, these are the tomatoes, the diced tomatoes. That makes it really good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to add um, like cheese on there. I don't have any shredded lettuce on my to put on my taco, so I can add. Well, if I want, it's got tight tomatoes in. I can add this on top, but I can also put I can also put these peppers on top too. Um, anything on top I want to, but I'm going to let it cool just a little bit, and um, maybe I could get one out. Do it over here on the uh, thing and let you see while I'm making it and see how it's going to be. As I say, say as it cools. Oh, I think so. Oh, yeah, it does. It really does. Um, let me move this over just a little bit. Move it over just a little bit. And I'll glue it on my rack because it's... There we go. I think what I might do is try to... Um, I want you to see this, but I'm going to sit this over here right now. And I'll take my rack down so that I can sit this on the counter so it doesn't fall off. And I'll put this over here, so then you can see it a little easier. There you go. Now you can see it a little easier. Now I can, I can try to, let me get a paper plate. Go away, bud. Go on. Go lay down. Go lay down. Uh, plate's a little small, but that's okay. And this is going to, and I'm going to put some of this on here. And uh, it's going to thicken as it cools. So I'll put this so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm not gonna <laughs> no, I'm not gonna let it fall. I'm not gonna let it fall. Um, it's back far enough that it won't fall. You talking about the uh, you talking about the this or my plate? I'm not gonna let either one fall. Um, put this down a little more. Got down far enough yet. Okay, there we go. <sighs> kind of kind of hard to get my tripod where it needs to be um this is gonna be really good i mean like i said i made i made a lentil one before but nothing knit like this um so i don't know if i'm gonna put tomatoes on top or just put the cheese on top maybe i'll for right now the first one i might just put put the shredded cheese on top because it's got it's already got tomatoes inside of it and uh everybody knows this is the day of cheese and if i had if I had shredded lettuce, I'd put that on top too, but I just don't happen to have it. Just don't happen to have any. I didn't <laughs> I didn't plan on making any tacos, so I just didn't uh, buy any shredded lettuce. <laughs> there. What do you think? Doesn't that look good? I mean, it would look co more colorful. It would look more colorful if I had lettuce on it, but it does look good, doesn't it? Really does. Um, I'm really pleased with this recipe. Um, let me get a spoon, and I'm not going to use this spoon here since it was inside. Let me get a different spoon, and I'm going to see if I can um, try some of it and see what it tastes like. I know it's going to be a little warm, a little hot, but I want to try it and see what it tastes like. Mmm, mmm. This is good. I like these. I might like these tacos. These are good. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Oh, man. Yeah, that really looks good. Really looks good. It's kind of hard to roll these things up, but there you go. Got it rolled up. Um. So I got one done. Oh, oh. Let me see, Early, what happened. Um. Which one? Um. What'd he say? All right, let me see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I guess so. Um, and let's look at this one. Um, he's got a couple of them, doesn't he? Why? I guess he was blocked. He was moderated twice. I blocked him. Oh, my goodness. Wow. What the heck? This is not that type of periscope. Good gracious me, man. What in the world is... He trying to trying to do. Oh. 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 
Was that was that what he said? Called me a slum landlord? Oh man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, I he doesn't realize that I'm not taking care of my property. I have property management taking care of it. So why am I a slum landlord? He doesn't know me from Adam. You know, people just have a tendency to say all kinds of stuff. You know, it's really terrible. Um, mean and vindictive as he is, you know. Oh, I'm just going to leave this open so you guys can see it. It's kind of close. It's kind of messy, but I'll just leave it. I'll probably post it up. I'll do another one and post it up on Facebook because this is a little messy. But um, he was the mark of the beast. Also, um, did you guys block him? Um, no, where's he at? John Holly. Okay, let me go back. Um, okay, I know you said that one. John Holly. I know that was you, or Vanita. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, well, I got the jack me off. Um. Um. Was this the guy twice? Wait a minute. I got him, already blocked him, but I'll have to I'll have to block him again, I guess, twice. There we go. Now, um, I'm going to see this in here. Oh, oh, there it went. I see it now. Oh, my goodness. There, I just now blocked him. Did you guys report him to Periscope? Did you guys report him? Yeah, I saw, I just, I just... Thank goodness we have the scroll feature. Well, see, I was doing my making this up. We have the scroll feature, and um, we can scroll back. Because if I couldn't scroll back, I'd have missed it. But I can block him. You know, look at that. Isn't that awful? <sighs> he has nothing better to do than to call people names. How can we report? Um, well, you go back up into his, um, where his comment is, sweetie, and just... Um, just tap on the box where his comment is, and it'll say "report abuse," and you just click, and you just report abuse. That's all you do. Um, I, I know you've never done that before, but just go back to where his comments at. Uh, you just want to cuss him out? I think everybody else does. Um, oh man! Well, you know, I knew I, I had a feeling that I was going to get those in here today. I had a feeling. I really did. You know, it it is what it is. Um, I don't want them in my periscope, but if I can, I, but if you guys see something that I don't see, um, and they, and if they, if, if, if somebody says something that I don't see, like, like that guy did, you told me about it so I could block him. Um, you have to let me know because I don't always see everything that you guys see. I'm just going to set this like this. I don't see everything you guys see. Um, and so therefore... I miss a lot, because especially when you're working. I know Alexis doesn't see him either. She needs her moderators. <laughs> I think uh, everybody will, and Tammy. We're all going off on him. But you know something? I just I just wish him well. If I'd have seen that, I would have told him. I says, well, God bless you anyway. Um, oh, so, so you're, not sure, you're not sure you're going to... Well, he's been blocked now. You can't report. But he, um, if he had, if I, you could have blocked him. You could have reported him before I blocked him. Um, I, I've got moderators. I have got moderators. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Yeah, I have, I have moderators, so there, there's no problem there. I do have moderators, and they are taking care of them for me. Um, so they're telling me about when the guys come in and say things, because I didn't see that one about the slumlord, and I read it. I read it after I scrolled back, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, that's horrible. You're welcome. I mean, that's absolutely horrible to, to call me a slumlord. He doesn't even know what a slumlord is. He has no idea what a slumlord is. Calls me something that he has no he has no business calling me because I don't take care of my property. I have a property management taking care of it. And I think that, that Periscope needs to do something about it. Oh, you weren't paying attention? Um, yeah, well, I wasn't either. That's why you guys told me. Um, so... I'm glad you told me because I would. I need to block him and now. I can't wait until my periscope is over and then go in and block him. Or wait until I watch the replay. I need to get him blocked immediately. Um, and I don't understand it. 
Yeah, they won't. They're, they're not going to leave me alone. They just, you know what it is? Like I said, it's the dirty devil coming in and, and con trying to cause conflict. Here's another one. This is a better one. This is a cleaner one. This is probably one I'll take a picture of. It. Um, they, they just don't, they don't know what else to do with themselves except to call somebody names. They just don't know. They're, 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 um, a people that have nothing better to do than to make one account after another and to really, um, she was just in here a few minutes ago. She left not any more than 10 minutes ago. She comes in my periscopes all the time. So I, <laughs> I, I wish you'd have been in here when she was here. She wasn't here very long, but she was in here. Um, yeah, well, I'm not happy about it either. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, it was made in the in my quick cooker from Pampered Chef. I'm gonna put this one up on Facebook. This one's a little messy. Uh, this one I kind of opened it up and 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 so it's a little messier. But you know, um, it'll be okay. But I'm not gonna take a picture of it. Anyway, this one's what I'm gonna take a picture of. Um, it is it is getting ridiculous, but you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah. Yep, made with lentils. Yep, sure is. Yep, 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 yep. And I'll tell you what the ingredients are. Um, it calls for one white onion dice, which I didn't have a white onion, just had a yellow. Um, one tablespoon of olive oil. One garlic clove minced. One tablespoon of chili powder. One half teaspoon of garlic powder. One quarter teaspoon of onion powder. Um... And it calls for pepper flakes, but I left them out because I don't use pepper flakes. A quarter teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of paprika, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, which I thought was a little bit much because cumin can be quite strong. So I took put a little less than a, a tablespoon or teaspoon in there. Uh, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, which I forgot the salt, so I can always salt it later. A quarter teaspoon of fresh ground pepper, which I don't put that in either. Uh, two and a quarter cups of vegetable broth. One 15-ounce can of fire-roasted diced tomato, which I didn't have fire-roasted, just regular tomatoes. Uh, Three-quarters cups of chopped lentil or walnuts, a cup of dried brown lentils, and then you get your taco seasonings or top toppings of choice, your shredded lettuce, tomatoes, jalapenos, or whatever you want to put on it. That's basically what it calls for. Very simple, very easy to make. Um, I put shredded cheese on the top um, because I like it. Oh, thank you. I got this at Walmart a while back. I've got another one. It's a prettier color. I got a red one. It's a little more colorful. It's got a bow on the bottom of it. Um, yeah, I I like to fix uh, fix uh, my foods here on, on Periscope with an apron on. I see Alexis does it all the time because huh, I don't know. I get kind of messy. I get stuff all over me when I'm cooking. Well, this apron kind of helps and keeps the stuff from getting on my clothes. So huh, so that's why I wear an apron. It only looks better to wear an apron when you're cooking anyway, you know. But this is going to be a good meal. I haven't had my lunch yet, and this is going to be a real good, because I love tacos. I really, really do. I've got, like I said, I've made two of them, but the other one I'm not going to uh, put it back on camera because it's a little messy because I folded it over. I could probably change it and put it on a different uh, thing altogether. Could uh, change the torn tortilla and just toss it out and do a different one. But um, but I want you to see this one here. This is the one I'm going to put on Facebook. Doesn't that look good? Look at that. If I had shredded lettuce, it would go on here too. I just didn't have any. Um, I wasn't planning on making any tacos and I, <laughs> so I did, so therefore I didn't put any on there and it's got tomatoes inside of it. So I didn't put tomatoes on the outside. I could probably put peppers on it or whatever. I got some here, you know, but I think this is going to be okay. Just the way it is, you know, boy, you know, something I'm a, <laughs> sometimes I think I almost quit, but quit while I'm ahead. These guys, I figured these guys would come in here today and I should have prayed about it that they would, that the Lord would keep them out. But you know, um, He's miserable. It's the same person. He's miserable, and he wants me to be miserable, too. He uh, says such evil things, you know, and I wish Periscope would do something about it. But if, as long as he's, if you get him for abuse instead of muting him, just get him for abuse, they see that. Because when I block them, they don't know why I'm blocking them. But if you if you get him to report abuse, it's reported to Periscope. They can they can see what's been what's being done. So uh, best thing I mean, if you want to mute the bots and stuff, it's okay. You can mute a few of them, but if you see a guy coming in, maybe saying two things, the same guy saying uh, mute one and then report the other. Uh, they're not, 
They're not. I just, I just wish them well. I just say, well, God bless you anyway. If I had seen the one that they told me about that I just blocked, I would have said, well, God bless you anyway. This is probably the same one that came in and called me a slumlord. I mean, this guy was nasty. I mean, he, he just called me all kinds of names. You know, this person, you know, he has no life. He doesn't want me to have a life either. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But, but thank goodness I have people in here that were very observant. They saw what he said and they let me know so I could go back. And Periscope, thank goodness for Periscope um, that they, they made it so we can scroll back to get the comments that we missed because I was able to block him. Because I don't like waiting until my broadcast is over because I want to block these guys because I don't want any of these guys reporting my broadcast. I've had people report my broadcast before that I did not block, that just got muted, got mad, so they reported it. Well, I don't want that happening. So if I block him, he can't report it because he can't see it anymore. Only thing he can do is just make a whole new account and come back in again. He must be having fun making accounts. I guess he has too much time on his hands. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> you know, he's he must have too much time on his hands. He seems to he seems to find me every time I come on Periscope. And I'm not following the Joker either, but he seems to be following. Oh, I made um, lentil tacos, lentil and walnut tacos. Um, that's what they are. You're right. They're right. The Lord's going to deal with them. You're absolutely right. Oh, uh, huh. well, a bunch of, it's somebody that keeps coming in and making a whole new account and keeps calling me a slum Lord, keeps calling me fat, um, calls me evil, calls me an evil slum Lord the other day. I think it's the same person that keeps coming in and making all these snide remarks. Um, uh, yeah, it is. It is vegan because I put vegan cheese on top. Um, yeah, I'm going to post it up on my Facebook page. This is the recipe right here. Um, oh, I'm not. I'm not letting them drag. That's what they want me to do. They want me to to get real angry with them and start crying and, and yelling at them. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not giving them the benefit of the doubt. You know, I'm not going to give them a time to say anything. Uh Yep, you're right. They're miserable. They they don't know what they're talking about. I certainly am. They can come in every day if they want to. I'm going to keep on cooking and I'm going to keep on blessing them anyway. They come, they, you know, I'm not going to stop. I think that's what it is. They want me to off a of periscope, so they're doing everything they can to stop me from coming in here. So it figures if I if he comes in here enough and keeps calling me an evil slumlord, I'll get the message and get off. I'm not. He's going to eventually get the message. That I still love him anyway. God loves him and I love him, and he's going to eventually, you know be lost a lost soul if he doesn't stop it but i'm not gonna stop i'm not he's he's trying to get me off of here and i thought that's what he's trying to do he's trying to chase me out and i'm not gonna go i'm here to stay and the only way that i would not come in here anymore is if i I'm, you know i'm dead that's that sad thing to say but that's true as long as god's giving me breath in my in, in my body and i can stand up and walk and i can talk and i can come in here and show myself every day i'm going to come in here and if that guy doesn't like it he can lump it that's all I can say. He can lump it because I am not going to let him talk, keep me out of here. Um, that's right. You got to kill them with kindness. You're right, Erlene. If I would have seen his his comment, I would have, but I didn't see it. Um, uh, oh, are you? Uh, do you follow Alexis? If do you follow Alexis, I can I can get you. Um, oh, you do. Maybe I will follow you. I, do you do any cooking scopes at all? Um, because I, I like uh, cooking. Um, I do watch cooking scopes. If you, I'll, let me go ahead and follow you. Let me go ahead and view your profile, and then I'll follow you. Um, let me go ahead. Okay, all right, there. I'll follow you. All right, there we go. <laughs> what? Well, I'm going to eat this for my lunch. And I won't have dinner. Um, oh, you follow the pampered chef? Yeah, that's Alexis. Yeah, I just followed you. Um, yeah, I do too. Alexis is from Pampered Chef. But like I said, she was in here. She was in here a little while ago. You missed her. My goodness, she's been out. I don't know. She was in here for a little bit, and then she said she had to go. So, you're a real chef? Ah, cool. I love real chefs. Well, I could probably learn a thing or two from you, I'll tell you, because I'm not real good. I'm not 100%. I try, let me tell you. There have been many times that I've made mistakes, and I looked at the recipe, and I thought, what the heck did I do wrong? But you know, 
Oh, well, no, I don't think she's jealous of me. She's happy that I come on and do periscopes, I believe. Uh, I hope she not, but you've heard her comments. I haven't ever seen her comments that well. You know, and if she really has nothing to be jealous about for the simple fact that I think she's far superior over me. She is much better than I am, and I'm not jealous of her by any way, shape, or form because you know something? I learned from her coming in there and... I don't always get in her periscopes live because she comes out at a time in the morning when I'm still asleep. But if she comes out in the afternoon or evening, I do watch her then live. But, you know, I've learned a lot from her. So I have, so I would never be jealous. And she has nothing to be jealous of me about. She's far superior over me. I mean, she's taught me a few things, you know. My goodness, not, not at all am I jealous of her. She has no, je no, no reason to be jealous of me because she's better at cooking than I am, you know. She's been doing it a long time, and, and you know, we learn. I, you know, the whole thing of Periscope is we learn from each other. I learn from her, she learns from me, and you all learn from me, and I learn from you, too. You know, if something doesn't go right, we all kind of put our heads together, and we try to figure out, well, how can we make this thing a little bit better? What can we do to spice it up a little bit, maybe, or make it look like something? Oh. No, 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 no. Uh, Alexis uh, can do the chef, the one from Pampered Chef, the one from Pampered Chef. Uh, yeah, she's no, no, Alexis can do. She's the one from Pampered Chef. No, she's not jealous at all. If I has another Alexis that comes in here with the blue hair, I don't know who she is. I've never seen her. Well, if she's jealous of me, I don't know why she would be because I don't think she's ever come in my periscopes. But Alexis can do comes in there. Oh, oh, you just voted. Um, okay, I didn't see it come up on. What did you vote on, Arlene? Because you just voted on something that never came up on my side. Um, was it abuse again? Um, if it's abuse, go ahead. and Because that is the only way that Periscope can keep Periscope clean. Um, oh, my goodness. Boiling water on me. Well, I didn't see that comment come through. I, I missed it. Maybe good. <laughs> well, you know something. If she's still in here, I hope that I hope that the, she saves some tail. Oh, God, God bless her anyway. Um, oh, I I haven't tasted the taco, but I tasted the part the the meat part, the lentil part, and it's really good. You know, um, isn't that funny? I didn't see that comment come on my. End. I've had other ones that want to slap the smile off my face. Probably the same person. She wants to slap the smile off my face. This one wants to throw boiling water on me. I'd like to know, what did I do to her if she wants to throw boiling water on me? I'm just standing here cooking. I haven't done anything to anybody. Um, uh, what? Oh, you'll shoot. <laughs> what is something? Someone said Alexis was a hussy, and you, you have rats in your kitchen. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Uh, Alexis is not a hussy, and I don't have rats in my kitchen. Oh, my goodness. These people talk about miserable. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. You know, I don't let those people like that bother me. You know what? Because they don't know what the world they're talking about. God knows me. He knows that I'm not that way. He knows that I'm not what they say I am. I don't have rats in my kitchen. You know, it's not the cleanest place in the world. My kitchen needs a lot of work because it's an older house. But, you know, I love it the way it is. And I, you know, when people come in here and say some stupid things. Hi, Sandra. Good to see you. Here is my walnut taco. Um, it does look real good, doesn't it? I've made two of them, but the other one's kind of messy, so I don't want to show that on camera. Good to see you, Sandra. Um... You missed all the drama. There's a lot of drama in my scope, Sandra. Way too much drama, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, try telling them that. They're not going to listen. They're just not going to listen to them. You know, people are going to come in. Because you know what it is? They haven't got a life. Something's happened in their life or something. They haven't got a life. So they're going to they're gonna take their misery. You know what they say? Misery loves company. So they're going to put their misery on me and try to put it on everybody else. Well, I don't accept their misery. I'm a happy person and I want to stay that way. What have I got to be sad about? Not a darn thing. Not a darn thing. Uh, <laughs> that's exactly right. You've got it. You hit the nail on the head. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. 
And that's what I can chalk it up to and say, well, I'm doing something right. They're coming in and they're, and they're, you know, uh, harassing me or whatever. I'm doing something right. So we know that that's what it's coming from your old devil anyway. Um, uh, Oh, no, I wouldn't. Be my guest. Go off on them all you want. Be my guest. <laughs> Could have skinned me like a cat. I haven't seen that one either. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let her try. What the world? <laughs> Who is this person anyway? I never I never saw that, that comment even come through on my side. I'm missing some comments for some reason. <laughs> Sometimes they don't all, I know on the replay they don't all show up. Now watch that one show up on the replay. <laughs> Gonna skin me like a cat. Okay, how do you skin a cat anyway? <laughs> oh, let her try. But at least you guys are here and you're voting on it and you're marking them for abuse because I've got my thing set up to mark them for abuse. Um, uh, <laughs> oh. oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, it's terrible. It's 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 who is this person that's saying they want to skin me like a cat? Um because I'd like to know who that person is that says they want to skin me like a cat. If that person is still in here, I want to see that person. I want them to say something again so that I can tell them I love them, God loves them, and I hope they're saved someday. You know, I'm just waiting to uh love them uh, to kill them with kindness. That's exactly what I want to do. I want to kill this person with kindness, but I never see her her um um, well, Erlene is a nice person. Oh, that person is the cat. Oh, oh well, Erlene is a good person. Erlene is not bad. Erlene is one of my followers and her and I talk every day. So you don't, do not block her. Do not block her for abuse because she is a not, very nice person. Um, so, you know, Erlene did not say that. You, you got her wrong. Erlene would not talk like that. Um, yeah, I can't even see it though. I do not see it. If you guys see it and it comes up on your end, um, he's making things up. Okay, here's that person I need. This right here is the person I need to block. Yep. That secret sauce. That's the one I need to block. I think that's the one I need to block. Not Erlene's not going to send me to jail. That person's threatening. Wow, I hope that person gets saved someday. That secret sauce looked to me like that was the person that was causing trouble. Is that the one you guys were talking about? Because it didn't look like it was doing anything wrong at first. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, my goodness. You know, I get a lot of drama in my periscopes. I wish I didn't, but you know something? I'm getting way too much drama. Um, and the thing of it is, it is just going a little too far. You know, I don't, yes, they are. They're sad. They're mad. Who knows what? Um, yes, Erlene is my friend. We talk every day on, on, on message, most of the time anyway, when, she's, can, when she can. And we've done FaceTime or, you know, and so she's my best friend. So she would never say anything like that. So when I saw that secret sauce saying that, then I thought, well, I gotta take, I gotta take bull by horns. If that's the one you guys were talking about, the troll, I figured that's the one. Erlene never said she was gonna skin me like a cat. What the heck? That probably secret sauce is probably the one that's gonna skin me like a cat. Oh my goodness! Let her try it. Just let her try it. We're gonna put her dukes up, and I'll get her. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. <laughs> She's always respectful. She never, you know, when I go into anybody else's broadcast, I'm respectful too. And I try to be respectful of, and I'm respectful on my own broadcast. But the thing of it is, who's ever doing this to me is disrespectful to me. And I don't deserve it. I don't deserve the disrespect, but I'm getting it because I'm not disrespecting anybody in here. You haven't heard me say one thing bad about anybody. Even the trolls, I don't say anything bad to them. I just block them, you know, or I'll tell them, God bless you. And then well, I didn't on that secret sauce. I should have told that secret sauce, well, God bless you. And, and I love you anyway. And goodbye. But I didn't. Um, yeah, we've been friends for two years and we're going to be friends for a lot longer. Erlene and I, I care a lot for her and she cares a lot for me. We tell each other our troubles and things like that. So Erlene is not the bad person. When I saw that secret sauce saying what she said, or he said, or whoever it was, I figured, well, that person's the trouble. 
That person is a traitor. And good thing I saw that. You guys told me about it because you probably, did you uh, get them for abuse before at all? Because uh, now that it's been blocked, you can't get them for abuse. But that's what you have to do. You see somebody saying something, you need to report them immediately. Because we're, we're, um, Periscope needs to be stayed clean. And they thanked me for um, helping try to keep it a clean place. Because you're going to have people that are going to argue, going to say the things that that guy's saying, you know. And... You know, it could have been the same one that came in before and called me a slumlord. Who knows? Who knows? But he's gone now. I don't know. I, well, you know something? I think they're coming. They're they're hiding under a rock someplace. They're hiding under a rock. You know, they're 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 <laughs> they need to go out from go out from underneath the rock rock that they came from. You know, uh, that's what I say. Go back under the rock they came from. I don't tell them that, but now that they're not on here, I can say that. I'll just love them with, kill them with kindness. There was a a story years ago on Story Hour, and I, my kids used to watch story, uh, listen to Story Hour because they were little kids and they loved Story Hour. Even my husband at that and I at the time when we were married loved Story Hour. And there was this one where she killed her neighbor with kindness because he did everything he could to get her mad. He'd throw her laundry in the dirt, and he would do everything to her he possibly could. She took some food over to him one day. He could not believe that she was so kind to him because he had done that. I don't know, some kind of, I don't remember what she was, maybe it was pies. I think it was she made him a pie because it's been so long ago I heard the story. I think it's, she made him a pie because her husband said, well, why don't you make him a pie and take it over to him, you know, she, and kill him with kindness. You know something? He, he changed. He never did that to her again because she killed him with kindness. She took a pie to him. So you have to be very careful with these people. No sense in getting mad at them. Uh, you know, um, you know, I don't care if somebody goes off on them because they deserve to have somebody go off on them. But I want to treat them with kindness. I want to tell them, well, I love you anyway, and I hope that you're you're saved someday, and God bless you. But you know, I'm glad that I saw that secret sauce because I saw some of the things he was, and I looked at that and I thought, what is this guy saying? Looks he's trying to, blame, trying to blame Merlene for for saying he's gonna skin me like a cat. What? She would never say she's gonna skin me like a cat. What the heck? And I'd heard him say, don't threaten me. And by the way, I should have I should have blocked him immediately when, when he said, don't threaten me. What? She was not threatening anybody. What the heck? Wow. That's right. Exactly. You know what they say? What goes around comes around. They are going to get it back in the end. And they're going to get it twice as hard as what they're dishing out. That I always say karma is going to bite them, and you know what? And that, and that's just exactly what they need. They need it to bite them in the butt so they'll learn. Um, and, I, and I'm hoping and praying that these ones that are coming in here, if it's the same person or whether it's a different person, only time, only God knows that them people, one people, one person, two person, that karma will come back and get them. Um, he sure does. He sees everything. He knows what they're doing in here. He can see what they're doing in here. Um, yes, yes. When they come in here and behave badly, God knows that they're behaving badly. And you're right. Karma's going to come around and get those people. They're misbehaving and what goes around comes around. It's going to come back to them twice as much as they dished out to me. And it may be uh, something that they may not be able to handle. You know, so they better watch themselves. They better watch what they're saying to other people. Um Oh, thank you so much. Yes, they're wrong for coming in and saying the things they're saying because I don't deserve any of it. I've never asked for this. I've never done anything to anybody. I've never said anything. I don't I don't have a mean bone in my body to say anything bad to anybody. When I come in here, I try to just put on a brave face. I smile at everybody. And, you know, I talk to you and I show you what I'm making and everything. And I'm not mean and I'm not nasty. But they come in and you know what they like to do. They like to taint the broadcast. It's sad. It's very, very sad. But I've got good people in here that take good care of it. And I'm thankful for each and every one of you because you guys are so awesome. Um, he come back in again, Earlene, because I just see you muted him. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Did you did he come back in again, Arlene? Because I just, I mute I blocked him. So was he saying something? Oh, oh, so you just muted him. Well, he's been blocked, so he can't come back in anyway. Um, because Periscope told me they said if you have a problem with anybody, they said the best thing that you can do is block them or report them. 
They said that's the only thing that they told me to do. Oh. Uh, oh, well, God bless you, too. And thank you for coming in. I'm going to have to eat these in a little bit. Um, This is my lunch. You know, each and every one of you come in here, and you're a godsend to me. You are a blessing to me because you help me so much, whether I make a mistake in cooking or whether I miss comments or two on my Periscope. You help me by being there and taking care of the comments that are coming through and that are very derogatory. And I appreciate that because as broadcasters, we don't catch everything. Will you know something? God bless you. And I hope that, that you're saved someday. I don't deserve what you're giving to me. You know, I don't deserve this. I never have done anything to you. I saw it. I don't do anything to you. You don't even know what a slumlord is. And I'm not taking care of my property anyway. I have a business. Uh, Rental agency taking care of it. So there you go. So God bless you, and I hope that you, you're saved someday. What an idiot. Wow. I saw you. I saw that one. Oh, man. Karen Slumlord. What the world? Probably the same person again. Wow. Yeah, I got him. I just got him. Like I said, now that they have done the scroll feature, I can go up and I can block it. All I have to see was moderated by moderator and just tap on or muted by moderator and tap on it and see what it was moderate muted, muted for, and I can just block it. I'm I saw that person. I didn't I didn't want to block him until till we I talked to him. Oh, is he coming back again? I'm gonna be ready for him. All I can say is, who's ever coming in here and, and calling me a slumlord? Do you know what a slumlord is? I don't think you do. I'm not a slumlord. I have a rental company, a property management company, take care of my property. So if you want to call a slumlord anybody, call them a slumlord. Uh, uh, yeah, they did. They, they, they called me a slumlord. Uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know. It's terrible. Do I deserve all this? Nobody, none of our broadcasters deserve what we're getting. I didn't deserve that to be called a slumlord. Like Alex said, he, when he comes in, he says he would like to tell them people off. He'd like to punch them in the nose. You know, I just told that person, well, I, I, God bless you anyway. <laughs> yeah. I know. I just play. I just, you know, I don't give him anything. I just say, well, God bless you. God loves you. And I love you. And I hope you're saved someday. That's what I, you know, and I block him because that's what he, you know, he's not expecting me. But this, you know. This is what this is what's what's what uh, makes me laugh. The guy must really be dumb because doesn't he realize that everyone he comes in and says, you know, and he uh, oh they are every for everything he, every time he comes in and says what he's saying he's going to get blocked. Does he that stupid to realize I'm going to leave him in here? Look at that, isn't that good? I didn't have any shredded lettuce, so I can put that on there. But does he realize that I'm going to block him for everything he comes every time he comes in here? He must be awful stupid to make more than one account. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Boy, yeah, you know, I'm going to have to go off in a little bit. Maybe they'll, you know, they'll leave me alone when I go off of here. But why are they attacking me so bad? It, I have done nothing. This has just started just a few days ago. And I've been getting attacked for probably, I would say, almost a week now. And, you know, I knew Alexa said one time was being attacked, too. And, yeah, we have to block and ignore. I've, I've been attacked a lot. And at first it bothered me, but then I thought, no, I got to buck it up and just tell them that God bless you and I hope you're safe someday and just block them and let them know that, uh, you know, they're, you know, yeah, that's true. You're, you're right. My daughter said I shouldn't talk about it. Anyway, I'm going to have to go in a little bit. I think I better get, well, get, well, get, I got the getting good before he comes back in here. Um, yeah, just go on and talk about our life, you know. Yeah, it's all good. Absolutely. All good. I'm, I'm loving my life, you know. Um, I love being by myself, being independent. Don't have to rely on anybody for anything. And that's a good thing. Hi, Marilyn. You come in at a good time. Look at my look at my uh, lentil walnut tacos. Aren't they good? I was getting ready to go off, Marilyn, but you just came in. But, uh, it's been, I'm getting ready to get off, Marilyn. Uh they do. They taste good, too, Marilyn. I was getting ready to, uh... Oh, you want to see the food? Here you go. Hi! Good to see you. There you go. This is a good one. Yeah, you'll have to. Yeah, You're going to find a lot of drama in here, Marilyn. I've been getting... I've got a stalker. Maybe more than one. Anyway, I'm... <laughs> every, every day I've got to block him several times. 
I've got, he, I blocked him about four or five times a day. And yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's a bad, it's a bad stalker, but you know, such is life. <laughs> he, he, he makes one account of blocking. He comes back in, he makes another one and says, says the same, totally the same thing again. Oh, it's just, it's awful. But yeah, you'll have to watch the replay, how I made it. It's very simple, Marilyn. Um, I'm going to post the ingredients up on Facebook. So, uh, yep, they sure are. They're still messing with me. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Oh. Uh, uh, yep, and he started attacking her lean, too. <laughs> Love me. I don't know about that, but, oh, that would be okay. <laughs> yes, if he, <laughs> if he, if he loves me, he's got an awful way of showing it. <laughs> I'll tell you that. If he loves me, he's got a funny way of showing it. He really does. You know, I say I love him, you know. Oh, but I have to. I gotta love him and I kill him with kindness. You know, I have to. I have to. And and <laughs> oh man, these people they keep me laughing. You know, uh, yeah, he's <laughs> loving stalker. Oh man, yeah, he's a loving stalker. All right. Oh, if he could only see me now and me laughing like this. Because he wants to get me down, and I'm not going to get down for any reason. I'm going to stay positive. Because there's no sense in being negative. This world is too short to be negative. I've got to stay positive at all times. You know, it is, it is. I'm going to be eating it in a little bit because this is my lunch. I didn't have any shredded lettuce to put on it, so I had to leave it off. I should have bought some shredded lettuce if I knew I was going to make this, but I didn't know until today I was going to make this. And it was made... If people want to know, it was made in my quick cooker. It was, it's like an Instant Pot. And this is what it looks like in the in the pot. If you want to see, this is what it looks like in the pot. So I'm going to have some good eating. I'm going to be eating a lot of tacos. Oh, thank you for the Super Hearts, Marilyn. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Thank you for the Super Hearts pop culture tonight. Thank you guys are amazing. You are amazing. I love each and every one of you. Oh, yes, we have to. We have to... We have to smile. You know, it takes less muscles to smile than it does to frown. And we need to smile at all times. I smile in spite of it. Because what can they do? Not a thing. They can't do anything but just be there, be themselves. And I'm being myself, you know. Um, oh, Lebanon. Oh, my goodness. I get it from all over. Welcome for, welcome to Periscope. Welcome to my Periscope. Um, I can show you what I made. See, in this pot, the pot's cooled off now so I can touch it. This is my walnut lentil tacos. They are very, oh, you cook, Le you know, I've never had Lebanese food. Oh, you're welcome. I've never had Lebanese food. I wouldn't even begin to know what you guys eat. What, and I've never, never known anything about the Lebanese culture. So, you know, getting somebody in here from some, from other countries, it's amazing because I learn about your culture. You know about mine. Hawaii. I lived in Hawaii. So I know a lot about Hawaii. I used to live in Hawaii. Lived in, on the island of Oahu for about a year and a half. Loved it there, but the discrimination because I'm not, I'm not Hawaiian was a little bit too much. Um, you know, I don't know what tabbouleh is. I've heard of it. Um, no, you don't. No, you don't. I think that's another stalker again. Oh, you never, oh, nice, no, I don't have, my, I'm, don't, I'm not married and my husband doesn't do scopes, so he's not on Periscope. <laughs> oh, a salad is famous in Lebanon, oh, okay, um, so, well, you, you got, you got me mixed up with somebody else, because my husband, uh, I'm not even married, I'm, I'm divorced, and he doesn't do Periscopes, he doesn't know anything about it, he doesn't even have a computer, oh, that's fine, it, it's okay, you didn't know. But I'm glad you, <laughs> uh, but it's okay. But I get it from all over. You know, I get it from all over. And it's good to get it from other places because you learn a little about other people's, people's culture. And they learn about our culture because the way they eat in those other countries is a lot different than when we eat here. My son went to Israel in December. Hi, Richard. Went to, went to Israel in December. He says their food there is a lot better than ours. Here's my taco. My um, walnut lentil tacos. Uh, 
Richard. Well, I saw his name. I saw his uh, name come up, but I don't see his uh, icon. Um, I don't have any glasses. I don't wear them. I got. I had cataracts removed several years ago, about 2014. So I don't need glasses anymore. Um, okay. Oh, okay. I I had cataract surgery back in 2014. So therefore, I don't need to wear glasses, which I can see a lot better now. It makes everything so much more brighter. The colors were real gaudy with my glasses because I needed I needed real thick glasses because they were my eyesight was real bad. This one was real bad. This is the first one they took out, and then three weeks later they took this one out. So, but I I had cataract surgery, and I would have it all over again. Thank goodness I don't need glasses. I don't like glasses. You know, I I use my glass. I have reading glasses that I use to read my Bible. But I don't need them for doing computer work or if I want to watch my Roku or anything like that. I don't need them for that. So you probably saw me when I wore glasses. So it's been a long time since you've been on here, apparently, because I haven't had glasses for five years now. <sighs> oh, that's no problem. No problem. But you probably remember me when I had glasses. And I I did wear them up to five years ago. They were thick lenses. The one on this side was, was really thick and this one was thinner. But they got so bad that they need to be removed. Oh my goodness, you don't know how bad they were. He had a hard time sucking this one out. He couldn't hardly get it out. And then when he finally got it out, I could see a little bit, a real good out of this eye. And then three weeks later, he did this. And this, this one wasn't as bad. Um, no, I, well, no, I may squint a little bit. I I have to get up close. Some I've got the darn phone back too far. I'm not trying to squint. I may have it back too far to read the comments. There we go, a little closer. So I shouldn't have to squint. Sorry about that. Um, I know my daughter tells me I squint too, but I really don't need glasses. Um, it's just a habit, a habit I've gotten into, but I don't need glasses at all. I can see perfectly. Um, most of the comments I see just fine. I've got it set for, for large font, so I don't know what other people have, but i got the large font set for mine because it's a lot easier to be able to see the comments if they're with a large font. Um, good, good. And, I don't, and I'm not upset with you for saying anything that what you said at all, so. Oh, Oh, yeah, you better get your sleep. You know, by, by 1238 p.m., I'm like a zombie. <laughs> I need to, I need to nice sleep, you know. Um, my dogs like to go into the bedroom about 7 o'clock at night, so I'll go in there too, but I don't go to sleep. I'll do things on my iPad or whatever. Um, I watch Marilyn when she comes on Periscope, unless I'm falling asleep, I, which I try not to. I watch her Periscope and other ones that come on. And then I'll do maybe watch a prime video or something, and then I'll fall asleep after that. Um, but I, I do I do try to go to bed early because there's nothing to be up for, you know. I'm by myself, you know, and they want to they want to go to bed early, but they get up early too because I get up sometimes about six o'clock. Oh well, God bless you and good night to you from Beirut, Lebanon, and have a very good sleep, very good sleep. I hope that God blesses you in your sleep. You wake up refreshed. And, and God blesses you immensely when you wake up tomorrow. I forgot that you're several hours ahead. See, what is it? It's 20 minutes till 3 here. So you're, oh, I certain, certainly will. And thank you for coming in. And God bless you. And you take care. Um, thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. I mean, I, I don't know what I do without everybody that comes in here. You are here for me. You help me out. You see things that I don't always see. I miss comments, so you help me with those. You know, and I don't know why some of those comments that you saw didn't come through on my side, but at least I blocked who I needed to block, so they can't come back and do anything to me. They can't even report my Periscope. Because you have people out there that Alexis has, has had her Periscopes reported on her already. Cooking scope reported. What the what? I mean, cooking scopes. That's all they are is cooking scopes. Why would we have them reported? I don't know, but she's got it. She's had a report for her, from her already, but she's managed to get out of that. And they and they looked checked, looked it over and they said, well, we don't know why it was reported. It doesn't need to be reported because she got it. She had the NSFW on it, which I've had a few on mine too. But I think it's been been removed by now. But it's crazy. It is really really crazy. I see more people coming in, but I'm going to have to go and eat this before. Uh, huh, you want to see what my taco looks like? There's my taco. Um, a wall. It's got walnuts in it. Which I've done a lentil taco before, but not anything with walnuts in it. So I'm I I, I jumped on this when I saw it on Pinterest, and I I find most of my recipes on Pinterest or YouTube because they are so good. I like to watch videos of them being made if at all possible. 
YouTube is a good place to watch, you know, all the all things. Blessings to you as well, and thank you for coming in. I appreciate every one of you that's been in here. You have been a blessing to me today. We've been able to laugh even through even through the uh, problems I've been having with the ones coming in. I've been able to laugh about it. But, you know, God has given me that. He's given me the strength to continue to go on. And I'm going to continue to go on. And I'm going to stay in here. I'm going to come in for you guys. If that guy doesn't like it, he doesn't have to come in. But I'm going to come in here for you guys as much as I possibly can. And I'm going to continue to do this because I know you guys want me here and I want to be here. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hold this up if I can as my, as my screenshot. But I, I hope you have your, the rest of your day goes marvelously well, that you're blessed beyond measure. And, and until we meet again, I want to say this. God bless you. Oh, you too. God bless you. Take care. I love you all so very, very much. And thank you for coming in. And I hope you have a great and marvelous day. And until we meet again, bye-bye.